This video is about Multipoint Server 2011 and how it can be managed when connected to a domain controller. I work with a number of primary schools based in Thameside, South Manchester, mainly on support and file server upgrades. Some of the schools have opted to move to Multipoint Server 2011 rather than the extra cost of installing traditional computers. These are some of the completed multipoint suites, the most common being two multipoint servers and 30 screens. The biggest to date is Flowery Fields Primary School, which has four multipoint servers and 60 screens spread across two buildings. This is Anne. Like many teachers, if you've already she had researched only one multipoint server 2011, you may have seen Microsoft's promotional but video in which Anne, Anne puts together Windows a multipoint multi system for her class. This is a good example of how multipoint works, multi but the video fails to explain that Anne, Anne is using the standalone version of the system, multipoint server 2011 standard. If you already have Each a Windows domain controller, then you will need mouse. to use multipoint server 2011 premium edition. Just by this version will bolt into Active Directory. And so it enables Windows network resources to be used directly for each multipoint session. Users, it's easy for her to set up and use. This is a network diagram of a standard primary school. On the network is an admin server. More importantly, we have a domain controller. This will hold all the network resources, such as files, folders and network printers. It will also contain all the users such as staff and students. We also have some extra network storage and media streaming, as well as the normal network printers, PCs and laptops. Sitting on the network and part of the domain is a single multipoint server, and connected to the multipoint server are the multipoint screens. Because the multipoint server is part of the domain, we can now start to manage how it works, and more importantly, we can start to use managed desktops for both staff and students. This is Flowery Fields Primary School in Thameside. They have two computer suites that use the very old and very slow LNX computers. As part of a massive ICT upgrade during the summer that included new Ruckus wireless, gigabit networking, netbooks and iPads as well as replacing both computer suites with 60 multipoint screens running for multipoint 2011 servers. It's worth noting that the junior and the infant buildings are some 400 metres apart and connected via a gigabit fibre optic link. This is a junior computer suite some months on and as you can see it has been kept in very good condition. This suite has 30 screens and all the screens run from just two multipoint servers. All the screens are based around the new N computing M300 terminals that are bolted onto the back of a standard monitor. So what do the managed desktops look like? Right, let's log on to one of the multipoint servers. This multipoint server is at Flowery Fields. And as you can see, we're now running the teacher's desktop. These desktops are managed. That is to say, that anyone logging onto one of these managed desktops can't save to the desktop, they can't delete from the desktop, and they can't add to the desktop. Unless the ICT technician or the administrator puts a shortcut to the folder or to the program on the desktop, they can't see it and they won't be able to use it. As you can see, the desktop has just got a number of shortcuts or shortcuts into folders holding more shortcuts. This is done just to make the desktop a little bit more tidier and easy to use and these desktops are universal across the school so you get the same or similar desktop if you log on to for example a netbook a laptop or one of the PCs or indeed 
one of the multi point screens. If you start to zoom into the desktop now you can see that we've got Microsoft Office there, we've got school programs, a shortcut to Audacity, we've got web links, an Espresso shortcut, and we've got Scratch and a shortcut to My Documents. If we zoom back out to the full desktop now and we start to run the video then you will see how these desktops work and how we can start to access the programs and start to use the server and the applications that are on there. Okay, We're now running the video and we'll start to open up some of these folders just showing you there that is a teacher's desktop and if you double click my documents that's your documents on the server so if you use or log in onto this these are your private and personal documents sitting on the server. There's my there's the um, the shortcuts to all the office programs and we've just run Excel. Excel just runs as normal so we'll quit out of that and close that folder down and we'll go and look at something else. These are some of the programs that are available to staff and students and again I'll be clicking to uh, web links. These are some of the web links that are available to the staff and double click them and they'll open up Explorer and go straight to the internet. If you take a look at what's available under devices and printers you'll see that there's only one printer available and that's a junior staff room printer. Uh, this school's gone across to using copiers only. They've got rid of most of the, um, the laser printers in school to save money. And that's about it really. We can then go and log off the system as normal and that's finished the session. This is Dowson Primary School located in Hyde Thameside. It's a very large and very successful primary school spread across three buildings. The upper building recently had a refurbishment and part of that refurbishment we created a learning resource centre. This fitted multi-point perfectly and we originally installed eight screens in this location which you can see here. Later we added another 10 screens to our single multi-point server making a total of 18 putting two in each classroom. These screens were used for anybody who needed to do some word processing or research on the internet. These were based around the LG network screen which used the N Computer L300 which unfortunately isn't available anymore. Logging on is really quick and as soon as the user logs on they receive a managed desktop. Right so let's log on to another server. This is um, Dowson Primary School in Thameside and the big difference this time is I'm actually sat at home and I'm connected by the school's VPN uh, using remote desktop. Um, I've set the screen to 800 by 600 again just for the YouTube video and I've also enabled the desktop as well to be brought across so as you can see what the desktop looks like, the uh, the wallpaper on the desktop. I won't normally do this on a VPN connection because it just takes a little bit of bandwidth up if you've got to rebuild the screen but for this purpose um, so I can demonstrate what the wallpaper looks like I thought I'd bring it across and at the moment the VPN is running quite well it's fast and it's quite responsive so I'm not seeing any issues and just trying it out. Desktop looks pretty well much the same we've got shortcuts to Microsoft Office, My Computer, uh, Text Studio and the technician at the school Sue has actually customised some of the shortcuts with those uh, quite nice graphics on there for example the public folder uh, just makes a little bit of a change and the graphics look quite good again it's managed you can't add to the desktop, you can't delete from the desktop, you can't save to the desktop unless it's put on there by the administrator you can't see it and you won't be able to run it so uh, it's very managed and there's a, a staff desktop as well and again it's available from machines all over the school, laptops, PCs and netbooks right okay we've started the, um, the session now I'm just showing you it's a, uh, a pupil desktop just moving the mouse around, just showing you the various different icons on there and um, we'll open up um, my computer there's the map drives available to the students and they've got um, the K drive there which is their home folder where all their work or that particular user's work is saved 
okay close that down whip across to office there's the shortcuts for office more than the last one but again that's just choice it's quite easy just to remove the shortcuts and cut that down just to the basic programs if you want to so let's have a look at one of them running uh, Microsoft Publisher just uh, select the install templates and um, just select one of the templates just to load and have a look at okay there it is quite responsive again the VPN is working quite well at the moment uh, this server is some miles away from where I am so it's quite a good connection uh, as you can see it's quite responsive got no problems shut that window down and go and have a look at text ease studio I'll just run up um, studio ct and just type some text in and I'm going to highlight it oops just highlight it again okay and I'm going to drag it and resize it and move it around the screen see no problem it's responsive and uh, it's working quite well so close that window down discard that and shut that window and we'll go on the look at Expresso uh, Expresso uses flash so it's quite a good test not only for multipoint but also across the VPN as well and as you can see it's uh, it's very responsive the uh, Expresso server is actually in the school so we're accessing all this data locally on the school network but as you can see it's very responsive across uh, multipoint I'm having no problem selecting the screens or scrolling up and down uh, that's working quite well um, I'm going to look at one of the links for the internet uh, choose BBC and uh, see how that runs so this is now being dragged across the internet and there you go that's responsive that's coming quite well let's open up um, the history let's have a look down and see what's available and just open up one of the different sections there just to show it's dragging the data across the internet and uh, back across the VPN to my remote desktop session no problems doing that that's quite responsive and working very well um, have a look to see what printers are available <coughs> um, this is another school that's got rid of all their local lasers and they'll print into the uh, photocopiers to save money so they have a junior photocopier printer available to all people these extra printers have been brought across uh, from the remote desktop session that Samsung printer sitting on the desk next to me here so if I wanted to I could work on the machine remotely on the remote desktop session and either print to the school printer or to any of the printers that are local to me uh, it's very versatile indeed so there's the desktop that's Dowson Primary School's uh, multi-point server and um, we'll log off close the session and back to my desktop the aim of this video was to show how multi-point server 2011 can be managed once it's connected to a domain controller the aim was also to show our managed desktops can be used along with multi-point server as well as laptops, PCs and netbooks. I hope you found the video informative.